hey wanna make cool maps like this one um, you can using this tool that I made um, for Krita uh, Krita is uh, open source free uh, painting application that works for Windows, Mac and Linux you can get it for free uh, download the one for your operating system and uh, if you subscribe to my Patreon, you can get these files. Uh, they include uh, a grid uh, that tiles infinitely, um, a hatch, and the Insta Dungeon file. Um, first things first, uh, it was inspired by Dyson Logos uh, design. Uh, and he did something similar, but for Photoshop. Oh, also, he also does other maps in other styles and scales, so check his stuff. And check my stuff, if you like. Um, okay, uh, when you open, and when you install Krita and open the file, you'll see something similar to this. Um, to start editing, you will need uh, to open settings, dockers, and grid. What is it? Grid and guides. Uh, you can dock it anywhere, like here. Oh, come on. Um, and you will need the layers. Um, but that should be opened by default. Uh, you can, if it's not, you can open settings, dockers, layers. Um, to use Krita, you can press space to drag your map. If you go to the edge, you'll see this little arrow. When you click it, it will make the canvas bigger. And same for the bottom side. If you need bigger maps, uh, you can use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Um, and to edit it, edit your maps, uh, you can use. Uh, let me, let me, let's uh, get rid of the title and text. And so there is these three layers, drawing, map and fill hatch that are green. Um, you can... Uh, the, the drawing is um, just a simple drawing layer. You can use it or not if you don't want to. Uh, for, for now I will hit a backspace to clear it. Um, the map is walls and and floor itself I will delete it pressing backspace uh, so the layer keeps here and uh, but but it's an empty layer and uh, the fill hatch is just these as extra um, extra hatches to make it stylish I will get rid of this too. So to make the, the walls and floor, uh, you go to the map layer, select it, and with a brush, you can left click to pick one, to pick any one, uh, and go to rectangle tool. Um, you can click uh, the tool settings up here and use fill foreground color, outline, no outline and make sure your fill, your uh, foreground fill is white okay so uh, I, I, would, I would switch it to a light gray so you can see what I'm doing uh, so when you uh, drag you make a 
square and um, if you have Neptune grid selected it should uh, make uh, squares the size of the grid which is uh, 50 by 50 pixels um, and what the layer is doing you can if, uh, if you go to the red layers hatch and fade you can disable the effects and uh, in this one too so what's doing what's it doing is just um, with the right layer, layer selected what is what it's doing is just making a um, uh, background uh, a, a color and here it will add the tiles and the walls here it will add the hatch and here it will fade nicely and smoothly well, not so smooth more like noisy um, and you can use the uh, rectangle um, tool to make your corridors and, and room r rooms um, uh, if you if you press E, it will switch. You can see up here. It will sw switch to the eraser, so you can remove parts of your of your drawing. And press E again to go back to drawing. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, you can also i mean i'm i'm using the rectangle tool but you can use the circle to make um round rooms then back to back to the rectangle you can use uh the regular the regular brush to make um uh, uh, to make it organic organic rooms um for that the performance is kind of bad if your computer is not really really powerful mine isn't so you can see a lot of lag you can disable these effects here to make it way way smoother and if you have a drawing tablet you can do it really quickly Switch to eraser. And when you are done, you can turn the effects back. And have your dungeon. You can make uh, objects, uh, pillars, and uh, other other sorts of details. You can use the brackets key to make it bigger or smaller, the, the brush, or you can use this slider here. Uh, Ctrl Z to undo if you don't like what you did. Um, and when you, uh, if you, uh, you can you can use other colors if you wish but uh, be aware that uh, it may be strange uh, depending on what color you pick <laughs> um, but you can color code things um, and when you when you are 
satisfied with that you can uh, use the fill hatch to make um, Uh, let's make um, yeah you can you can style uh, your your hatch to uh, seem like like you did some more de details uh, so it doesn't look like like uh, too squarish you know uh, too regular. Um, uh, then you can go to the drawing layer and pick um, any any sort of uh, brush and do some details like a door. Not uh, you can press D to make it black, and you can add. Uh, and use the rectangle to draw the come on uh, oh yeah um, it must be not filled and outline brush so you can oops come on get out of here uh, you can make doors uh, or double doors you can make um, stairs with the line tool so you can um, well yeah the, the drawing layer is for drawing uh, you can do whatever you want and you can add a title um, by clicking in the text and with that selected, you can come here to the tool settings and click edit text. Oh, with the title selected, edit text. Come on, help me here. Yeah, it worked, okay. Um, can change the text to something smaller and move it around. You can use the crop tool to make it smaller. Be sure to snap to the grid because if you don't, uh, the, the grid will be all messed up. Uh, press enter to apply your changes, and you can uh, disable the grid to look like to look how your drawing looks, your map looks, and you can uh, export uh, as. PNG or JPEG um, and here, here it is um, it's ready to print import to um, row 20 or map tools or whatever um uh, I hope you like it um, and that's a different video so I hope you like it and leave a like if you want to see well if you like it subscribe it subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and and support me on Patreon if you want to get this file. It's only uh, it's 
only one dollar and it helps a lot um, so thanks for watching <laughs>